Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash, Season 7. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I'm going to start doing a live streaming session once a week, and I haven't decided what day it's going to be yet, but that's going to be coming up pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. Please be sure to check out the community tab, I always update you guys there, and every video I will normally put in like some sort of announcement at the start if I've got any announcements. So be active, turn on your notifications, and follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on. So I'm going to be trying to do a live stream every week from now on, that is going to be a thing that's going to be happening on the channel that is new. But today, let's talk about what we came here to talk about. This is The Flash Season 7. We're going to be talking about when to expect, you know, our first glimpses at The Flash Season 7. Okay, so you remember DC Fandom back in August now? It's been a while. It's been like over a month. And we got the first trailer for The Flash Season 7 that was comprised of unused footage that was going to be on one of the upcoming episodes towards the end of The Flash Season 6 that was never actually, you know, aired on TV because of the pandemic and they couldn't get in those final scenes for that episode and it seemed like episode 19 would be a better finale for Season 6, that's what the showrunner thought, that's what Eric said, and so he chose to continue this storyline with Eva to the start of next season and that's what we're getting here and that's what you saw in that trailer from DC Fandom back in August where you first got our, you know, the first glimpse essentially of the season. However, it was footage intended for season six, but technically it's for season seven, so it was new footage after all. There wasn't that much, you know, we had some stuff at the top, we had just some, some generally new scenes that were intended for a normal episode and not a season premiere. So obviously the trailer didn't feel much like a season premiere trailer for episode one, which would have kickstarted the new story because actually it is continuing the story from last season. However, it was a good trailer and I'm really looking forward to when we get that next trailer and we're going to talk a bit about that today. So let's get you up to date. So filming was delayed about a week ago or no, about two weeks ago, but it was delayed for about a week due to testing halts in British Columbia, in Vancouver. I believe there's one facility that was doing counts and they were taking priority over, you know, productions and stuff like that on the schools that were reopening there. That is as far as we know and we've been told. Obviously overseas, we're not in Vancouver right now. So basically that was just temporarily delayed and they're actually back into production. Batwoman was back earlier this week and The Flash started filming for its new season. So at the start, we're going to get episode one and two are going to have some shoots to finish. Obviously, two wasn't in fact made. So you had episode one, which was primarily made, but they are making some changes. So they will do some shoots for that. But episode two and three are the ones where we're going to see our first look properly at the show from the outside. And we'll get to that in a minute because I reckon most of the shoots for episode one, you know, finishing off the premiere, which was intended to be, I think, episode 20 of last season, they will probably be primarily indoors because I think they shot most of it outside already and they were like 90% done. And I guess it just depends on how many changes they want to do to what they intended to do. So yeah, filming started the other day. I think it was like earlier last week, about three or four days ago from now, I can't remember the exact day, but they have officially started production for season seven. So it has officially begun. So you can sort of put your worries aside Lots of people were worrying about this temporary delay, but we knew it was very, very temporary as it wasn't a problem with an outbreak on the set, but it was a testing problem in the lab because they couldn't get it back quick enough. But now they are back to the priority and so we should be getting our first looks into The Flash Season 7 with probably Episode 2 and 3 shooting outside, like I said. And so considering Batwoman took back onto the streets, and they filmed in the streets like a few weeks ago from now. Canada Graph's got some great photos. We talked about that. We should be seeing The Flash doing that sometime soon. I would hazard the guess that we're going to see them out on the streets sometime in the next like two weeks or something. 
I reckon, like I said, episode one is mainly going to be shot indoors, probably for the rest of the scenes they need to do. So I would guess that they're going to be there for about a week or so from like, you know, today. So once production actually starts, you know, on the street level, when they actually go out and film stuff, we should be seeing that because we have a lot of paparazzi or people on the set like Canagraphs and YPR shoots who are always around and they're updated as to everything. So we will see, you know, leaks and we will see set photos, set videos and set information from people like Canada Graphs very, very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And all right, so considering that production has begun and season seven is slated for January 2021, and it's currently October right now, that means they've got about three months or so until episode one's premiere. I guess it kind of depends on, you know, the January date, as in what day in January is it gonna be? Like, is it gonna be right at the start? I reckon it's gonna be like the second or third week. So realistically, they have three to four months to get this out and to start promoting essentially because the flash will be returning in January if everything goes according to plan and currently it is going according to plan because they are on set they're in production the filming and everything so they're totally on track for episode one's premiere for season seven and so we should be expecting some marketing very very soon and this is the main topic of the video so my guess in about a month I reckon we'll start seeing them ramping up slowly to begin advertising its return with probably a trailer sometime very very soon and we'll get to that so what do I mean in terms of marketing and advertising we could see a poster that is normally the first thing we do see however you know there can be iterations and changes to the sort of CW formula that they release a trailer first then they release a poster and then maybe they do character posters or they do like one whole big poster but recently like the posters haven't been that impressive for especially for the flash like it's just kind of characters stacked on top of each other it wasn't anything that cool like some of the past ones we've had so I feel like those posters are less impactful now but that's just for me and so I'm presuming we're gonna get the poster first then we'll get a trailer so advertising in terms of you know using actual footage I can presume and we can presume that that's gonna happen around that same time sort of like late November or early December you know maybe like a month and a bit away from when the show comes back potentially it can be in the end of November which I think would be the smart option considering that the show hasn't been on for such a long time I don't think they should wait till the end of December or the start of January like a few weeks before the show's coming out to be like oh yeah here is a trailer like obviously when we get into January we will be getting small promos and things like that as we lead up towards the season premiere, we'll get sneak peeks, we'll get photos, official press releases, synopsises, and all of that stuff. So we will get information as we get into January, but before I think it would be kind of wise and I do think they will actually release something sometime at the start of December would be my guess in terms of footage. So that could be a trailer, could be like a whole long trailer like we got for DC Fandom, but I'm presuming at first they're going to release some small promos. Sometimes what the CW does is if they are advertising for a whole bunch of shows coming back at the same time, and in this case you have The Flash, Batwoman, Superman, Lois, all coming in January. So what they could do is they release like a joint promo, like a DC TV promo, and you have footage from all the different DC TV shows that are returning at that certain point. That is a very high chance to come first and then after that I would say the next best possibility would be a small promo, maybe like 30 seconds for The Flash sometime in December and then as we head into January you'll see more and more and more. Alright, so the final thing is considering that they are going to be shooting on the streets sometime very soon, doing location shoots, we may be expecting some big releases like if they are going to make any big changes or big reveals in terms of suits and costumes, what they normally do is they tend to release promotional materials before to try and beat the paparazzi, to try and beat the leaks online. However, that wasn't the case for Batwoman, and they were slow on that, and we got, you know, Canada Graves, I think, released the first look at the new Batwoman, Jafisa Leslie in the suit in public, and then 
the CW and Warner Brothers were like, oh crap, we missed it. So then they released a promotional still of Javisa Leslie as Batwoman. So if we get any changes or any big reveals in terms of what we're going to see on the street, most likely they will release something, whether it's before or after, but normally they like to get before. However, it's not always the case. So if there is any changes, we'll see sometime very soon because they'll be in the streets, you know, within a few weeks probably. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm going to be doing live streaming every week. I will tell you what day that's going to be, please be sure to check it out when it happens. Really need your support at this time, it would be very nice if you guys tuned in when that happens and also be sure to just, you know, check out the videos every single day when they come out and leave a like and a comment, it always helps out as well. So thank you guys and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.